Okay, today we're here at Sugar House Park and we're asking Williamson some questions about his passions and when they started. So Williamson, what was your biggest passion growing up? Like what were your goals when so you I'm, were younger? I remember when I was young, my father and, mo and my mom, they were so dedicated to help children in Haiti. And I grew up seeing those things around me, seeing that my parents helping children in Haiti. And I remember there's a time I realized that I was so passionate about helping people. And I used to share my gifts and my toys, toys to other people, to other kids around. And I have a passion about giving or sharing what I have. And all those things put me in a situation where I can feel I need to share when I have something. So, yeah, it's all about seeing what your parents did in the, in the past who helps you or inspire you or bring you the desire to do what you need to do today. So. That's great. What about Arise? When did you first decide that you wanted to start that or when, when did that first come into your mind? That's a great question. Thank you. I remember on my mission, um, I've seen a lot of persons struggle with like, living a good life. And I've seen that around me on my mission. And before my mission, I've seen that. And after my mission, I, I felt that I have something inside of me that I should give to Haiti. Not only give the Lord two years and also serving in my own country but also I felt like there is something I need to do after my mission and one day when I first got to Utah and I was talking to my brother I call him my brother is my best friend Jameson and I talked to him about my passion that I really want to have Haiti and that's what I really want to do and I felt that I need to do something like that and I talk to some other friends and tell them what I want to do with my country to help them. And most of my friends told me that was a great idea and they are willing to help me. And I started working on the name. I feel like my country needs a lot of things. They need food, they need money, they need all those help, but there is something Who can give them or who can bring them all those things together and I realized the best thing the best way I can help my country is to inspire the new generation to help them rise like to help them rise above above doubts because in my country they have a lot of doubts that they can't become successful or they can't do that if somebody don't do that doesn't do that for them they can't do it for themselves and i feel like exactly exactly i know my country needs food money but they need something much better than those things they need something who can stay and help them forever and i realize the thing that they need is inspiration or determination all those things and I feel like I can be the one to help the new generation to become where Haiti needs to be in the future in the future so I started sharing my story my message from where I was five years ago and where I am today and share that with the youth in Haiti and explain and inspire them and sharing my story and all those things came to my mind and they keep popping to my mind and I want to do that so bad and that put me puts me where I am today where I'm able to share my story to the Haitian youth the new generation and help them to believe in themselves and knowing that they don't have to wait for somebody to help them to do something they can do it for themselves because most of the time when we help when we help people we hurt them if we don't really know what they want or if we don't really focus on what's gonna happen in the future. 
So I want to help my country by inspiring the youth and help them to become strong so they can be able to help head in the future or be somebody. So, yeah. I like that. And also because you, you came from the same neighborhood and circumstances they did. So if you can do it, they can do it. They can do it. Exactly. You can see that because don't let anyone tell you that you can't do anything or you can't do something or you can't become somebody or you can't become something. It's not you. I realize I, I grew up in a family where my parents, they have possibility to help me. But I've seen so many other people close who live by me in my neighborhood. They didn't have possibility at all. And for me, the only thing who can help me to help those person is to focus to education, education. Because I know the more I'm able to educate myself and learn, and the more I will be able to serve other people. Awesome, anything else you wanna say? I just wanna say thanks to everybody. Thanks to everyone for watching. And I am so excited to share more about my story. And thank you so much. To be continued.